I just found one of the best drag and drop solutions out there and the craziest part is that you can implement this feature with only a couple of lines of code. This tool is called Swappy, you have the link in the description below and I'm going to show you how simple it is to implement something like this inside the Next.js app. So we have here a fresh copy of Next.js up and running and we are going to the Swappy documentation. First thing that we need to do is to install the Swappy dependency. So I'm going to my ghosty terminal and I'm running pmpm install Swappy. There it is, it is installed, that one is easy. And next thing that we are going to do, because we are in Next.js, we are going here to framework integration, React, and check out how easy it is. We are just going to copy everything from here. So we have two refs, Swappy and Container. Then inside the use effect, we are creating an instance of Swappy and we are here creating an event what actually happens when we swap our elements. So we are going to copy and paste that entire snippet and we are going to our code editor, to our page, and here we can just put it inside of our home page. And now we need to import everything. So here, instead of this image, I'm going to put import and here AI is giving me, so we have create swappy from swappy, we have use ref and use effect from react, and we need to put in use client because we are using use ref and use effect. This needs to be a client component. So now we can delete everything here that is by default from Next.js inside of our page file. I'm going to delete this footer as well. And now we can here actually put our swapping elements. Now we can get back to our documentation and here take this JSX and put it inside of our main right here. So now we have our container ref, we have swappy slot A and swappy item A and also swappy slot B. So let's see how is it looking here inside of our app. So we have here already A and B and we can already swap it. It's already working. Let's just put a little bit of styling to this one. So now we need to put our class name on data swappy item, not on data swappy slot. So here I'm opening class name, then we can put width of 96, height of 20, for example, padding of five, rounded MD and background red 500, for example. And we can apply the same thing here to our data swappy item B, but with background green 500. So let's see how is it looking now. There it is. We just need a little bit of gap in between. So here on our container, I'm just going to put in the flex flex column and gap of four. AI is helping me on this one. And there it is. So now we can swap our items. And as you can see, it is working like a charm and I noticed that when items are one across each other, we have this square. I think we just need to restart our dev environment right here. I'm running again, PM, PM dev, and I'm refreshing the project. I think now it should work. Yeah, there it is. So it is working now like a charm. And in order to fix those type errors right here, we just need to put here for use ref to return type of create swappy and for this ref to be HTML div element. So we don't have any problems right here. And to test this one out, the swappy current on swap, we can go to our browser and go to inspect console. And here, whenever we swap something, we are getting this event and we can do there whatever we want. If you want to save it to database for this current swap of the items or anything that we need, we can do it on this event right here. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.